Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades and I'm just going to do a quick little video for the first part of this project. I have a CD here that I have spray painted with a background of gold and I'm going to be adding some resin to it. This first color is uh, Color Art Sangria and this is one of the luster pigments. And against this gold, it looks like it's kind of a plum brown or something, but it has a shimmery purple tone to it, and you'll be able to see that better later. I also have some Color Obsession gold that was left from a pe previous pour, and I'm just going to add a little more uh, clear resin to that and use what's left in the cup. And I also had some other clear resin that was about to set. So I have added some of the Color Art Pink Mink pigment. And it is gorgeous. So I'm going to add this gold color obsession. And you can see that it's really starting to set up a little bit right here. I'm having to really work with this. But um, I had already done a previous project with this, and Pro Marine, um, it's a really good resin, but it only has about a 45 minute working time. So I was nearing the end of my 45 minutes when um, I wanted to use up the rest of the resin. So I'm going to use my torch and pop any of the bubbles. It will also warm the resin up enough that I can tilt it and get it to move into those areas where I don't have any resin. So I can just tilt it and we're around the center there. I have used some, uh, just some painter's tape, rolled it up and stuck it into the hole of the CD to keep my resin from running down in there and um, losing my design, number one. And number two, I just don't like my resin running off my project. <laughs> it hurts my feelings when uh, when I waste any resin. It's um, kind of expensive. So now that I've heated this up, I'm just going to use my stir stick and tuck the resin in towards the uh, center hole where I have the tape and make sure that it goes all the way out to the edges of the CD. And once I get this done, I'm going to let this set and cure and then bring you back in for part two, hopefully. If you um, have enjoyed this part of this project, please click like and share. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe now and ring that bell so you'll be sure to be notified when I do upload part two of this project. Uh, I've done a previous CD clock and it turned out really, really cute. I actually gave it to a friend as a gift. So um, I'm hoping to recreate only using a little bit different colors. Um, I want to thank y'all for watching. Y'all help my channel grow when you do that. And it's certainly appreciated by me. And I hope to see you in my next creation.